Okay, so for this objective, um, we're going to stop a minute on the school net drilling and we're going to just talk um, about the expectations. So one of the district expectations for this year um, is that school net assessments will be held to benchmarks. Um, those benchmarks are not things that we can create or control on our own. Um, those benchmarks are actually set by principals and directors on the district level. So um, when you see anything mentioned in this training that mentions a benchmark, uh, that is going to be a cutoff goal, if you will, for your class. So to give you an example, um, Mr. Campbell has the power to go into SchoolNet and set a requirement that every assessment in um, my English 2 class must be completed with at least an 80% proficiency before students can progress to the next benchmark um, or before they can complete the course. That's like a very broad based uh, benchmark. That is not something given the kinks of the system and how new it is to everybody not just us but to central office and to uh, administrators and anybody uh, really in the state. That's not something that's been worked out yet um, but do know that that expectation is coming. So what has been communicated um, as the goal now is uh, for you to use some spreadsheets which I'm going to explain to you and we'll have linked in one of the uh, forthcoming slides to record your own objectives. So if you have your class split into six units, um, let's say that uh, each of those six units you want your students to mm, score an 80 or even an 85 uh, like the CTE department is doing uh, this year on the final exam for that unit before they can progress to the next one. If you are holding yourself to that goal, that benchmark, you'd be expected to record it in one of the spreadsheets that you customize and you'll do that in a later objective and keep track of that data yourself. This is what's going to help you create the data wall, which is also going to be a district requirement this year, uh, and it'll help you maintain that um, because it will have to be changed again every single time progress reports are sent out. So it'll make it a little bit easier for you to do that if all of your data is in a spreadsheet. And at the bottom of that spreadsheet, you're going to see class average that is uh, recorded for each benchmark or objective, but I'll get into that more. Um, I just wanted to explain this uh, under the fifth objective. So what you're going to do now is create some benchmarks that you'd like to hold yourself to. You know your curriculum, you understand what you're uh, trying to teach and how you're trying to teach it. Um, so now it's going to go into your hands. Um, so take a little bit of time and generate some benchmarks of your own for your students that you'd like to hold yourself to uh, and make sure that all of those benchmarks require students to demonstrate at least an 80% proficiency uh, on whatever assessment you choose to measure uh, for the semester. And we will move on to objective number six.